EXBF told me to freely tell anyone anything about him. So I did. I'm 39F. And 8 years ago I was dumped by my ex. He's 44 now. I'm usually on good terms with my exes. But that one was a piece of work. He body shamed me. Apparently a woman weighing 64 kilograms is extremely fat and unappealing. He forced me to do things I hated and he cheated for half a year not wanting to break up until we go on two trips paid by me he made a point of telling me in which ways his new gf is better smarter read agreeable and thinner it was so bad i ended up in a mental ward oh and he told me that no one would believe me anyway and nobody cares how he treats women so i'm free to bitch online about it okay then i got better calmed down and started bitching. I wrote a, don't hire that one, post. He has an extremely rare surname. Only ones I know are either his family or a world famous athlete. It helped me a lot. I wrote how he can't keep a job for more than half a year. Because he thinks that he's smarter than anyone and argues instead of doing what needs to be done. How his references are fake because these are his friends contacts not he a employers how he puts a gazillion of courses in his cv to wear the reader out his cv is 30 pages long ain't nobody got time for that so that they won't catch to how little experience he actually has how he's sure that sleeping with a business contact could be helpful for business and that women sometimes need to be beaten up to see light it's all very true I had screenshots of chats to prove it. Oh, did you mean that I can tell about our breakup, but not about your professional life? Well, you didn't specify. I'm moderately popular at social media. So a month or so later an HR contacted me to clarify. Apparently he applied for a position. Well, I saw that and he didn't get it. It happened twice more. But I suppose a lot more hours checking social media just read my post silently. One time some bikers contacted me for his phone number. He apparently wrote about a girl. A well-known racer. Who died in crash. Trashing her as a dumb BTCH who deserved it. I suppose that phone call didn't end very well. I check on him once every two years or so. No career. No family. Girlfriends are apparently way smarter than me and run away screaming after half a year tops. I suppose that someone did believe me after all. And I'm happily married to a great guy and I'm a bit famous professionally. Stupid fat and ugly me. How is having a 30 page CV in any way beneficial? Everyone involved in recruiting I've ever known would throw that out for being 30 pages before reading any of it i just can't get over the 30 page cv that's the kind of thing you expect from a sitcom character this is brilliant lol has this smart guy never figured out that you publicly trashed him and that it's affected his professional life at the very least i have to think not given that he stayed in touch with you I had to do the math. Because I'm a pounds person instead of kilos. But holy heavens that jerk told you that 140-ish pounds was fat? Dunno your height. And don't care because it was wrong to say even if you were a wee thing. But as a fellow female skimming the underside of 6 feet tall with a number on my scale that begins. With two who looks unfat. And also having a child who modeled professionally and wouldn't have been shamed for that weight. They were totally wrong. Good for you. I love good malicious compliance smiley face. OMG. I feel like I could have written this. My ex too. Told me I was big when I was 115 pounds and he overweight with a big gut. He forced me to do things I didn't want to either and was addicted to porn. When we broke up, I wrote a venting post about him on a now defunct website. Using his nickname, he actually found it and told me he was frightened that this was on the internet about him. He asked me to remove it. 
I did try for giggles. But the website never did lol. Truth hurts. Her Moving on and not continuing to think about him would be the best revenge. This is my favorite post in a long time less than three. I take interviews for my company as I'm at that level now. And I don't have time to read a novel when it comes to a CV. Anything more than one page. Front and back. As overkill. It means that you have no idea how to present yourself in the best light. You don't know how to prioritize your data and you're just putting stuff in because you think. Bigger is better. Ironically for this post. I always evaluate candidates on the spot. I don't usually care what degrees, courses, certifications you put on your CV. It would not matter if you cannot apply that knowledge to the job. Let it go, crazy pants. God damn. You go, what a delightful post. You check in on him? Move on and enjoy your new hubby. I'm 200 pounds and I could lose some weight but I think I look good. I literally cannot fathom how few brain cells this man has if he thinks less than 130 pounds is fat. Even though you're all good now which I'm so happy about. I'm so sorry you went through that. Excellent work. Love to see someone get exactly what they deserve. Karma's a bitch isn't it rolling on the floor laughing. Ah, I love you. I love you so much. You are fabulous and he is garbage. Exclamation mark. If it wasn't for the kilos, I'd think this was my ex-roommate. Haha <laughs> amazing. Love this story immensely. I suppose that phone call didn't end very well. I don't think it started very well either tears of joy. Well played. And good on you that you now do have a decent partner beer mugs. If you enjoyed this video, please check out our playlists full of similar content. Epicaracast is like doom scrolling for your ears. Please like, share, and subscribe.